Good morning. Today I'm going to demonstrate Artworks Wavefor Map Convert, and I'm going to show a new format we're adding support for called WMAP here on the left. We're going to convert that into a industry standard called Semi E142. Let's look at this file. You see that there is a header section that has a lot of information about the nature of the map. It has multiple reference devices, row and column count. It has the wafer diameter, die size, skip devices, and it has the map data in a 2D array. These dots are skip die. The zeros are probably fails. The ones are passes. And if you look carefully, you'll find four of these labeled X, which would be alignment marks. That's what we start with, and what we want to end up with is E142. So to do that, we need to open that file. So we we'll click here. This is the file we're looking at. The program will scan it and give us a summary of all of the bins that it found. It's up to the user to define which is the good bin, and I know it's the one labeled 1, so I'll click there. If you want to change these descriptions, you're able to do so. Let's call that skip. Let's call that good. Let's call that bad. We'll call these target. Click apply. Now on the output, this is the base name. I'm going to get rid of that W map. We don't need that. This is the directory the output will be sent to, and this is the file type. You can see we have different output file types, but semi E142 is the one we want. These are optional. These are two different graphical formats. GDS2 is the layout format for large chips, and DXF is a mechanical design format. So if you have the ability to view this or this, then this will give you a nice picture of what the map looks like. We can add to the graphics the wafer diameter and a wafer margin. I'm going to make that 2.5. So this information was all obtained by scanning the header. And if we need to, we can also rotate the data by uh, increments of 90 degrees. Now we'll just click Convert. This just takes a tenth of a second. So let's first look at the layout. This is Artworks GDS2 Viewer, but any GDS2 Viewer can be used. And you can see we've got a number of layers, and they correspond to different functions. These green guys are the skip die. The red is the outline and the margin. Our good die is probably layer 4. These blue guys on layer 3 are the bad die. And these guys in cyan are the targets. There's a target right there on the upper left. There should be one on the corresponding side, and there it is. So this gives you a visual look at your, at your wafer map. Let's look at the XML file. Here's our XML file. You can see that there's different sections. Let's start with this first layout section. The very first layout section simply defines the wafer to be a 300 millimeter wafer. And then that has a child called device layout, and that simply defines the size of the device, 300 by 202, the array that we're going to map out. Now we have a substrate section, substrate type wafer. There's the number of good devices. We have a substrate map, and the first thing we have in the substrate substrate map are the reference devices. So we had four reference devices in our input file, and we have four in our output. These are the offsets from the origin. Down here we have a bin code map, and this is a 2D array map. There's a number of ways to encode your bin codes, but 2D array is a simple array. Our null bin should be dot, that seems to be a mistake. The bin type is ASCII. There's different kinds of ways you can represent the, the bin codes. There's ASCII, there's hexadecimal, there's three digits. Down here we have the bin definitions. These descriptions are the ones that I entered manually. The pass and fail are determined by which ones I check as being good. Everything else is considered fail, so this is the pass. This is the bin code that tells us what the symbol is for that definition. And then we have the actual data. These indicate skip die till you get to here. Then you have a fail, fail, pass, pass, pass. Uh, if you look a little farther down, you have one of the four X's. That's a target, and you see that they've emptied out the devices near the target so that the camera can easily find it. On this side, we have a corresponding target. And then in the lower half of the device, there it is. Now, on this side, it's not in the equal position. It's offset a little. I believe it's up a little. There it is right there. So that's the translation from WMAP into semi-E142. Thank you.